What's up, YouTube? Wanted to make a video for the Ford guys out there that are trying to figure out what heads they got on their old rig or motor, or maybe you're out there in the junkyard trying to find the elusive set of GT40P or GT40 heads. Uh, this video should help you out. So this is my 86 bull nose. It just went, uh, underwent surgery and I swapped a set of GT40P heads on there. And the easiest way to tell GT40P heads is those four little bars right there. A lot of people call them four bar heads. Uh, you can also distinguish them by the casting mark right there that says P. So that's a GT40P head. They're great heads. Uh, it's a guaranteed almost 20 to 30 horsepower over stock uh, E7 or E6 heads. The only downfall is the angle of the spark plugs can interfere with your headers these are uh, long tube headers by holly and as you can see i had to run 90 degree boots on two of them and i can run my regular straight boots on the all the other spark plugs and i'm gonna have to go back and put a little uh, heat shield on these plug wires so they don't get hot or burnt but if you ever got to change the spark plug you're almost going to have to remove the header to do it or you can spend five six hundred bucks and buy the uh, gt40p specific headers for these heads but uh a lot of people say you can't run regular headers on these that's not true you can run long tube regular headers for say like e7 or gt40 heads and uh right over there is a gt40 roller block that I uh, am gonna build and probably swap into that truck eventually. Gonna try to make this a little higher horsepower, but the easiest way to tell GT40 heads is by the three bar. And they will actually have GT40, or excuse me, GT cast into the head. Uh, these make good horsepower over stock. E7 heads, which we have right there. And you don't have to buy special headers for them. These spark plugs are angled just like your regular E7 heads. So they're a good choice if you don't wanna run into the spark plug uh, issue. These are worth some money. So if you're ever at a junkyard or a pick and pull and you see a set of three or uh, four bar heads, definitely grab them. Uh, they go on eBay for upwards to 800 to 1000 bucks, but you can easily sell them on Craigslist, Facebook for five, 600 bucks. And normally you can pull them at the uh, pick and pulls for 100, 200 bucks. So easy way to fill your, or fund your hot rod habit. These are the heads that were on my truck. Uh, these are E7 heads and they have no bars cast into the front of them. And they have a letter T, get it to focus, cast into the corner of them. Um, and uh, 86 and back, which this truck probably actually had these heads on them. Someone at some point swapped these E7s, or maybe this truck was made late enough that it somehow got E7s. But normally those trucks, 86 and back, would come with E6 heads which look identical to these E7 heads, except they will have a S cast right there instead of a T. And that's how you identify E6 heads. Uh, E6, E7 heads, they're uh, decent heads. They can be ported and polished to, you know, make some more horsepower. But if you're gonna take the time to do that, you might as well just try to go ahead and pick you up a set of GT40 or GT40P four bar heads important polish them and uh they'll make a lot more power than you could ever get out of these e7s or e6s but well guys i hope this video helped y'all out uh i know it was kind of confusing for me when i was trying to figure out what heads i had on my truck back in the day and uh spent a lot of time reading in the forums and watching youtube videos that are 15 20 minutes long just to <laughs> kind of get to the point so i figured i'd simplify it for everybody and uh just put it all in one little short sweet video so if you would like all the youtubers say and preach to you hit that subscribe button if you don't mind that way you can come back to the channel 
see all my other content that I got. We got tons of bullnose Ford content, uh, newer F-150 content, uh, boat, Harleys, car shows, burnout contests, pinup contests. If it's related to hot rods, cars, trucks, anything that goes fast, I'm sure we got it on the channel or something that might interest you. So anyways, guys, again, thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Hopefully peace.